Catherine Gorgeous in emerald green Burberry suit during meeting with Norwegian royals in Windsor. Have you noticed how the Princess of Wales has a remarkable knack for color coordinating her outfit to the theme of any occasion? Earlier today, Prince William and Kate Middleton spent time with Princess Hakon and Princess Medemarit of Norway, who are currently carrying out a two-day working visit to London. To welcome them, the Wales couple hosted the Norwegian royals at Windsor Castle. For this occasion, Princess Kate opted for a suitably green ensemble for a meeting with the Crown Princess of Norway. The topic of their discussion was green energy, climate change, and the environment. Proving her sartorial prowess, the mother of three rocked a tailor emerald power suit that complemented her feminine silhouette. Is there any outfit she can't perfect? The two royal couples posed for a photograph with the Princess of Wales looking sophisticated in an emerald green Burberry suit with a matching tie neck blouse, also from the brand and the Norwegian princess wearing a vibrant red dress. William and Hakon, who are both in line for the throne of their respective countries, kept their looks classic in a navy suit. Princess Kate also chose to recycle her Burberry tie neck silk blouse last worn in the promotional video for her new Shaping Us campaign, which aims to shed a light on the importance of children's early years in their development and matching tailored trousers. Kate in a suit is my favorite commented a royal fashion fan on the Prince and Princess of Wales Instagram account as another agreed a beautiful picture of future kings and queens. Burberry's fast becoming a firm favorite for the Princess of Wales, this is the third custom-made piece by the British brand that she has worn within the last few months. They've all been quintessential K2, a tartan dress, pussy bow blouse, and now a smart blazer. It's a match made in fashion heaven. Kate once donned her Burberry tie neck silk blouse, which she wore last year to meet a group of school children at St. John's Primary at Bethnal Green, London. The top was in model silk crepe deshine tech neck knit blouse in green, used to retail for about £850, but the Princess of Wales has had the garment for years. Some fans opened that Kate may have chosen a green outfit because the meeting's aim was to discuss environmental issues. The Princess of Wales also chose green to attend the Earthshot Prize in Boston with Prince William last year. Kate opted for a lime green dress from Solace London, which she combined with an emerald and diamond choker that once belonged to Princess Diana and looked fabulous. The royal brunette tresses from the style is beautiful loose waves, while she added a touch of rogue, fluttery mascara and a pink lip to complete her slick work wear. The princess sported a pair of diamond drop earrings, her sapphire engagement ring for jewelry, and wore a delicate diamond bracelet on her right wrist. The princess of Wales serving a satorial greatness in looks that were always desperate to recreate is nothing new and in her influence on the fashion sphere has clearly made waves in the royalty circles too. As Crown Princess Medi Marit of Norway turned to Kate for evening attire inspiration during her visit to the UK, wearing an almost identical dress to Kate's from one of her favorite brands. Yesterday, meet Marit on a glamorous display as she attended the Norway night networking reception at Lindley Hall in London alongside her husband. She stepped out in a shimmering navy gown and proving to be the queen of color coordinating. The mother of three teamed her dazzling dress with navy heels and a matching clutch bag. Featuring a drop hem and a ruffled three-quarter sleeve, a fashionable maxi dress boasted statement shoulder padding. Princess Catherine wore the Falconetti dress in emerald green to a reception during a visit to Ireland in March 2020. The gown boasted the same silhouette at Medi Maritz and with fewer tiered ruffles. She also color coordinates with green suede pumps, unsurprisingly as Kate is an expert when it comes to tonal dressing. But she adopted a new agenda for St. David's Day yesterday, which was a surprising look. 
Princess Kate most often wears her brunette hair in tumbling waves, but on Tuesday, her mane was looking remarkably longer and fans think they know why. Her hair is getting too long, I wonder if she's been growing it out in preparation for the coronation. The thought of this fills me with anticipation. One wrote, Indeed, Princess Kate's hair is looking longer than it has in recent years, maintaining its thick, lustrous appearance. For the occasion, Kate sported a monochrome look that encapsulated her signature style. She wore a bespoke cream Alexander McQueen coat, another to add to her enviable AM coat collection with a tonal turtleneck jumper and hood's tooth A-line midi skirt by Zara. To round off in the most quintessential Kate Middleton style possible, she wore bespoke black suede boots from Givanti Rossi.